Hi, everyone. This is Rob Darrow from Alameda County History Day. Welcome to History Day 2021. I prepared a series of four different short visual guides and videos for you so that you make sure that you turn in all of your projects in the way that is most efficient for all of us so that we can use them. This first video, video guide, visual guide step one is creating Google Drive, a Google Drive folder, and an index page. So let me show you what that looks like. So here's our first visual guide, step one, creating your Google Drive folder and how to share the document and creating your index page. You can see here at the top, there's the four steps, except there's a 2A step for those people who are doing documentaries or performances. But there are quick steps and you may just need to read these quick steps and you'll know how to do it and you can create it and that's great. Here's some visual guide, some visuals that I created for you so you see them, how to share the documents. And then in particular, I wanna point out this one section right here. Notice that this share icon has a lock on it. When there's a lock on it, it's private to only you because you created it. But we want this icon to look like this with a person with the two little hands there at the bottom. So that's what the share icon looks like. We want it to look like that. So now that I've shown you how it's supposed to look, let me show you how it actually works. You can see in my Google Drive folder, I've created the folder. And again, you go to new and highlight folder and it creates a new folder. You can see how it creates a folder and I'm just gonna call this folder two. You can see how it does that. I'm sure you're familiar with that. You can see my HD folder has a solid file in it. That means that it's only available to me. We wanna change that and the way we change it to the sharing is we can do a right mouse click or a two finger click and we highlight the word share. And once we hit the word share, then it opens up this bigger menu and under get link, we change it from restricted to anyone with the link. We want it to say anyone with the link and we want it to say viewer. And you can see it says that, that's how all your documents should look. I'm gonna click on done and note that my folder now has a picture of a little person on it. That tells me that it's being shared with others. Then you need to open up that folder and I'll show you a second way to find your settings. The second way to find your settings is to open up your folder and you can see I'm in my HD 2021 folder. There's this little arrow right at the end of it and I can click on that down arrow and click on share. And again, that's how you would change your sharing. I already changed it so it's anyone with the link and viewer. But again, once you're in your folder, you can click on the pull down menu and do it sharing that way. Now inside this folder, we wanna make sure that there's a document and we want to create the document with our Google Doc. So you're gonna create a Google Doc and you're gonna create and share it in just the same way. You can see how I named this document here, HD index page Rob. And then you're gonna type in these different items. Now this may be a spot where you may wanna pause this video, go back to the visual guide and find the pieces that you need to include. Now, the way I would do this is I would highlight these documents, these words here, and copy them from this document and then put them on my index page document. So I'm gonna just paste them on here, make this a little larger so you can see it. And then I'm just gonna space these down so all these parts are here. And then the most important part well, aside from your name and all those, is to make sure there's the links for your two documents. So one link is gonna be your paperwork. There'll be a link there. And the other one will be your project link. And remember, there'll be a certain link if you're doing a poster or exhibit, a different kind of link if you're doing a performance or documentary, and a different link if you're doing a website. So that's where all those links go. So when you're all finished with this document, I'll show you what it looks like when you're really all finished, just so you get an idea of where we're headed, is your finished document's going to look something like this with your names at the top and these links all completed like this. 
So that concludes this short video on creating your Google Drive folder and index page.